adopting the top player in the world's base design and putting it to the test with live defenses. Welcome and thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with Clash of Clans Attacks. Yes, it is episode 34 of the quest to 5,000 trophies and we are back on defense trying to find a layout that is going to work. And I keep on hearing about this base. This is the number one player in the world's base layout. It's been adopted by Nightman Cometh of Lost Phoenix and we are watching him defend here. And it looks kind of similar to the Nemesis base except for you've got the storages on the inside of the innermost layer of walls rather than on the outside. Now for this attack replay, it started off pretty well organized. You've got two wall openings, far left, far right, and right in the middle, you've got the heroes and some wall breakers moving in, trying to get that next layer open. They don't quite get the job done. Now the witches are moving in, more wall breakers finally through that wall, and now the attacker is going to use a rage spell to accelerate those last wall breakers, hopefully to get that wall open. It doesn't quite happen, but we'll see that could change things here as the wall is not open. Units are moving around, the queen, the witches, the wizards trying to get over or through that wall. There they are, finally breaching an entry, headed towards that town hall enclosure, but no protection for the queen. There goes the last rage spell. The golems are all either expired or have moved around the sides. The queen taking a lot of damage. The king is already down. There goes the queen's royal cloak. No spells left but a lightning spell and it does not look like the queen is going to get to the town hall. Indeed she is down and 41% damage. The attacking king is also gone. That is the defending king that just finished off that last golemite. And now this attacker needs 9%, but he does have 6 wizards, 2 archers, and 5 barbarians, plus that lightning spell. You've got an unprotected gold mine out here. That's going to be good for another percentage. We'll see if the wizard gets any more. No, the wizard's going after the wall. There goes the lightning spell, and that brings the attack percentage up to 44%. Wizards on the right hand side gonna try to grab some more buildings there, 47%. The lightning spell just failing to take out the king's throne. That would have been another percentage point, but it is stuck at 47. He's patiently waiting for this wizard to get through the wall. Now the wizard moves in, he drops some other distracting troops trying to get the barracks. The barracks goes down for 48, the camp for 49, and now the wizard's moving in, but they are gonna get taken down. One archer, one barbarian remain, one percentage point to go. What will happen? I think you guys know the outcome. Yes, the attacker from the top of the screen drops the last archer. She gets sprung off the screen. Only a barbarian remains, and he is not going to be able to get the job done. He goes down. Nightman cometh with a great 34 trophy, 49% win. Now, having seen this defensive win, which admittedly was close, and also seeing a couple of the top players using this base and having several defenses, and I also watched my buddy and fellow YouTuber White Lightning HWD's video where he used this base design and had a lot of defensive wins with it, around 3,400 trophies, I believe, so I'm about 1,000 trophies higher and I have a feeling the caliber of attackers is slightly different up here, so we're gonna see what happens. We're speed building this base, and again, you've got this storages on the inside here, hoping to slow those attackers down. The fundamental of the defensive layout here is similar to the Nemesis base. You're hoping that those defensive structures on that outermost closure cause the units to go around, specifically the golems, separating them from the other troops and letting your defenses wear them down. So we're going to put everything in just as we've seen it from these other defenders. And that includes this kind of unusual way of putting two of the mortars set towards the inside and two set towards the outside. But I'm just going to copy exactly as I saw it, not change any thing up. They've had some success. Let's see if I can have some rare success as well. You'll also notice the air defenses kind of lopsided towards the top half of the village. There are no air defenses at all on the bottom half. Other than that, the defenses are pretty well balanced, although we've gone a little heavy on archer towers towards the bottom as well. So, uh, oops, accidentally cleared a present there. We're going to get the camps around the outside, the rest of the other structures. Get that air sweeper down there. Can't forget that. Have that pointing down towards the bottom of the base. And the Teslas, bombs and traps, pretty much trying to go with uh, where I would think they would go because obviously I couldn't see where they were for those top players' bases. 
but great space for the Teslas on the inside. Of course, we want to put the skeleton traps towards the inside as well. Spring traps where we think those wall breakers might be trying to come from those ground attacks, and that is going to do it. Time for a live defense. Oh, come on, come on. Let's get in there. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got Jang or Yang YT from Korea Gold. Uh-oh, YT. I hope he's not a YouTuber. I hope he doesn't put this on YouTube. Oh, wait. I'm putting this on YouTube. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Uh, he, it looks like he has taken his time uh, considering where he wants to attack from. Never a good sign. We'd rather just see them get nervous and go for it. Deploy everybody. And uh, let's see. So uh, ground attack. No jump spell. So here he comes. Okay, wall breakers bottom right. Doesn't quite get that enclosure open, so three wall breakers down, but he's got 17 more. Oh man, there goes the bottom enclosure open, so we kind of get an idea of where he's headed with this. At least three golems. There goes that center. Yeah, he's got that one open, so I'm guessing top right next. Let's see here. He is again. Okay, here a barbarian to distract. There are the wall breakers. Also grabbed my spring trap, so now he's got all the walls open. Don't like the looks of this at all. Here come the golems, bottom top and middle, clan castle golem, so there's four. Two moving in from the center, and he's got his wizards out there clearing those structures. Here come the wall breakers through the next layer. No, okay, so they're through the next layer of walls, but now what is he going to do about this? He's got five left to get through that last. He got the big bomb out of the way. There's the rage spell, and the hero's moving in. He's got the freeze spell on the inferno. Here come the wall breakers. No! Right through that wall like it's not even there. That wasn't hard, and sure enough, everybody right smack through. He does get the Barbarian King's Iron Fist. Go down. Barbarian King is down. There is another Rage spell catching all those Wizards Witches. There's the other free spell. The Queen, the Golems are working their way around. The Queen is going to go to work on the Inferno Tower. Now we've got the Clan Castle Wizard. Stop that Queen. Oh, there goes the Royal Cloak. Oh, she's on the Town Hall. No, goodbye Town Hall. It's nice knowing you. There it goes, and 44% damage, not looking good. The Queen, will she get through that Expo? No, not quite. Okay, so 44, maybe just a one star, but we've got Golems up here in this. We've seen this strategy before. I use this strategy. When you've got the Golems distracting those defenses, you drop other units around, and they can take out the surrounding structures. 46, no, get a Mortar, get them. Get that Wizard out of the way. 47, two more structures, that's an easy 49. And that gold mine is going to be 50. No, somebody. Oh, that's a defending wizard. Go, go, heroic wizard. 49%. Stop those archers. Get him out of the way. Come on. Oh, this is so close. 49%. What does he have left? Two more wizards. And I've got my heroic wizard defending that gold mine. What is he going to do? Oh, man. Time is counting down. Two last wizards. What's going to happen? Oh, top left. No, not on the elixir collector. No. Go get him. Ah. Oh. Second star, 50%. I hate to guess. All right, bring the pain. Let's see it. Oh, it's going to be oh, 20 trophies. All right, so it could have been worse, but still not pleasant. A 30 trophy offer, he collects 20 with two stars. But undaunted, we are back out on defense. Another try with the number one player's base. Let's hope I have a little better luck this time. All right, we are in again, and uh, we've got JP1 coming at me this time. Let's see what happens. Looks like he is also taking his time trying to consider where he wants to attack from. Lower left, Barbarians distracting, Wall Breakers getting the job done, so uh, already don't like this. And he's got three jump spells, so uh, definitely a different attack that we've seen. There go the two of the jump spells and the golems we see pretty much a standard uh, attacking strategy on this base as with the nemesis base opening far left far right and trying to send the rest of your troops right smack down the middle there go the wall breakers and they've got it open so we've got a giant the heroes golem everybody coming out of that clan castle down the middle and he's gonna lightning my clan castle troops he's got the jump spell of course it's gonna go down yep right in the middle and that is going to send everybody right down the center. Here comes the king leading the way. Wizards. And one of the golems is going in there too. That's not a good sign. No, why? Why don't my troops act like this? I tell you, my troops don't do this. All right, so everybody's in on the center. And you've got inferno streams everywhere. Skeleton traps uh, defending Archer Queen. And uh, she is going to get demolished. And so is my town hall. No, quickly. How fast did this attack go? 44% the Town Hall, 46% and 
<laughs> At least it wasn't painful. It's like pulling out a tooth quickly. Uh, we realize there's no way he's not getting two stars. Uh, here comes 49, 50%. Wow. He made this look easy. That was just too fast. And uh, two stars. And now he's going to go ahead and uh, deploy the rest of his troops. Add insult to injury. Grab a million or so and loot from me on the, the way out the door. And it's just a matter of how many trophies I lose for this two-star attack. I'm hoping this guy's like 4,800 or something like that. Please don't let it be a massive loss. And uh, we'll wrap this attack up one of these days. Is he going to let every single troop go down first? Sure enough. There he goes. All right. Time for the pain. Let's see it. And that is where that audio recording ends. I think I must have dropped the microphone when I saw those 17 trophies down the toilet. All I have to say is, what up, White? What is up with that? That was painful. So on to the next base. Help me out, you guys. I need a winning base design. Thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to check out my other episodes. Like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. Stay tuned for more Quest of 5000 and other series as well. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks on my bases. Gallidon, that episode was fun to watch. I think I'll watch it again. <laughs>